I've been wanting to do a video about the Ninja Trader market replay functions where you will be able to either record your own data for future replay if you have a live data connection or where you could actually download replay data from the Ninja Trader servers and to the best of my knowledge you will be able to do this with a free account so that could really really be useful you could go to a day download the you know the YM the eMini DAO data for that day Go to another day, download data. Go to another day, download data. You could have all this data. And then you could replay it. And, if you, you know, you get enough data. And, you know, you start going to random days. And you'll end up selecting, you know, certain time frames. You're not going to end up remembering, you know, everything that happened. So, it will be excellent practice so I am going to try to show you how to use this so uh, <laughs> bear with me right now you are looking at you know the control center that comes up when you start ninja trader and I mean you can see I am connected to kinetic I'm getting live data right now for the YM that's what's updating now since I have live data I can record my real-time data for market replay from any chart window that I have open and all I need to do that is to go to tools go to options go to data and then do you see where it says record for market replay click that hit OK and I'm actually from this point forward going to be recording the real-time data for my workspace and the charts that are on it so I've got a workspace open that has the YM and has the British pound on it and I can go ahead and just keep you know I will collect this data where it goes is it it's on your computer I'm going to try to bring up my file manager so if I can get this in the chart okay sorry about that do you see where it says um, today's date date modified 1058 that's when I started or clicked on record real-time data for market replay let's just double click on that and see what's in it okay and there you go that is the British pound and the YM and it's just going to start, you know, storing data or recording the data to which I could later replay it. Okay? So I'm going to get out of that. I'm actually delete that because I now want to show you something else. Won't let me do it because the file is open. Okay, screw you. Okay, so 
what if though you don't have real-time data and you still want to use the market replay now you will be downloading the data from the NinjaTrader servers and to do that you will hit file and you will go to utilities and you will go to download replay data okay now once I do that I'm going to get this pop up let me tell you one thing first I had gone ahead and unchecked that box that um, you know I had checked previously to start collecting my own real-time data which is why I wasn't able to delete that file because as long as that was checked the file was in use so I unchecked it I have deleted it well what's important about this is if you want you, you could have replayed or real-time data and you could be recording that but you could also you know want to see days before you started recording it in which case when you would hit file utility download replay data you get an error message telling you that you need to turn off the market replay recorder because it will be recording your own real-time data versus the NT the ninja trader server data data so I had done that which is why I am able to then get this pop-up so I can now select any contract that is in my default list I'm just gonna hit the drop down okay that's everything that I have in my default list um, interesting list I don't really uh, <laughs> ever trade the DAX it's actually ninja traders list and then uh, I added some other things to it but here we're going to select the YM now I am doing this on 37 and you can see that the date is 36 well you want to go back to a last complete date so I can download all of 36 okay I can download any date that is the correct date for the March 14th expiration contract so just for the hell of it let's just download data from uh, the YM from yesterday and then let me slide this over because I get rid of that because I want to slide this over and show you what else is going to happen okay so file utilities download replay data here's that thing again and then you can download L1 data what is that that's charting data okay you could also download L2 data if you wanted to and if you did that you would actually be downloading you know the uh, data for uh, market depth and if you wanted to later open up a chart and open up you know the dome and actually see you know the market depth at the time okay I don't think that's necessary I've got L1 data checked okay do note that you can only download you know one instrument at a time 
and a single day at a time, okay? But you can do it as many times as you want to. So I'm going to hit OK, and I want you to look at the bottom right corner because when you do this, see how it, it's telling you what you're downloading? And when it's completed, it's going to go away. I actually thought it looked like it said I was downloading the uh, British Pound, didn't it? Hold on a minute. Yeah, after I turn that off and brought it up again, it always goes to the first thing in the list. So let's go to the YM. There you go. Now I'm going to hit OK. And it should show you in the bottom right that um, I'm downloading the YM. And when it's complete, um, you know, it's going to go blank there. So here, OK. Now do you see where it says downloading level one replay data and then it goes blank. So here is Windows Explorer again. I'll actually show you where that came from. When you go to your Ninja Trader um, directory, you will see data. Double click on data, it'll show you everything that you've downloaded. So there's the folder for 214.0306. It's in that folder. Well, there's the YM for the day. Okay. Now, let's actually replay that data. So the first thing that I'm going to have to do before I can connect to the download data is close any open data connections. You can see I'm still connected Kinetic, so I'm go file and disconnect, and I'll disconnect Kinetic. So now that's been disconnected, and once I have done that, I will go to file, connect, and go to market replay connection, and click on that. Okay, and do you see in the bottom now it says I'm connected to replay, and at the same time, I get this pop-up, or this uh, controller window to pop up, and what that's going to let me do is start playing my data on the YM chart. Now, right-click, and you see where it says Available Data and Go To. So that's going to show you what data you have available. If we click on it, we should see that I've got data available for the YM. That's what we just downloaded, okay? And... It'll go from, you know, close to close. So that's what we've got available. The go to will let me select a date and time. Well, if I don't change it, it's going to go to the start of the three six day. Okay? But let's say that I want to make it three six and start at 8 o'clock, okay, 30 minutes before the open or whatever. I can push OK, and it's going to take my YM chart to this point. So let's see if I can find my YM chart. So there's the YM chart, and you should be able to see that it's replaying, okay? It started at 8. Um, this is what I've done in the replay videos. You can see how slow it's going. Here, if I want to speed it up, I would use the controller. 
that single arrows at one time speed, but here I can really start speeding this thing up. Look at the top. I got it at a hundred times now. Okay? And that thing should be flying, obviously. When we've done our videos, we have done them, I don't know, between like usually 5 and 20 times. And, you know, if you want to study something or write some notes or whatever you may want to do, just hit the pause button. And everything stops. Okay? So, that's about all there is to it. Really simple, I think, really valuable. I know I've liked using it for, you know, videos. And, you know, we'll be using it a lot more for videos, using it for training sessions. I'm going to, here we'll just start this again while I'm talking. Make it go six times. You know, I mean, um be you know doing a lot more with it but I just wanted to show this to everybody and how to use it because I mean like I said I think it'd be uh, really valuable and you can use it like I said in, in the two ways where you can you know just start recording and storing your own data or you can um, you know, record the single days from Ninja Trader, and I, like I said, if I'm wrong, I apologize. I don't think you need a, um, you know, paid license to do it. So there you go. Give it a try. <laughs> if you got any questions, don't ask me. No, if you do have any questions, ask me. I'll help you the the best I can, but um, anyway, I will talk to you later.